Guess we'll give them the choice. Do you want to go to three, or do you want to block? All eyes on me. They shouldn't block, but I'm hoping they do. No yes, I'm hope I was hoping they would, they'd be scared. They were scared. They blocked. They Now they did. Look at this, playful trickster. Dude, that is some synergy right there. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Pike's Fortune. This is going to be a Shadow Isles version of Pike and Misfortune together. Really what, what this deck is trying to do is trying to attack with Snapjaw Swarm and make a lot of Snapjaw Swarms and attack with them. We're going to have uh, not only our three Snapjaw Swarms, of course, we'll also have the three Blood Baits that will be able to create a Snapjaw Swarm on top of the deck. And then we'll also have Scribe of Sorrows, kind of assuming that if, you know, like we attack with small Snapjaw Swarms, it's, they're going to die, right? Like they always do. And then we'll have Scribe of Sorrows be able to create copies of Snapjaw Swarms. We'll also have Stalking Shadows that will be able to draw multiple Snapjaw Swarms and Stalking Shadows kind of combos with Bloodbait, right? Because you can, you can play Bloodbait, put a Snapjaw Swarm on top of your deck, attack so you get to Lurk. And then afterwards, we can play the Stalking Shadows and just grab the Snapjaw Swarm, and then we get two copies of them. And then it doesn't, like, take up our draw step, like how that does with the Bloodbait, how, like, you kind of lose a card with that. Uh, that will make up for it. So the, the Stalking Shadows plus Bloodbait is a, is a nice combination. So we got that going for us as well. Um, so then, the of course, the, uh, the reasons for that is so we can get a lot of attacks with Pike, so we can do a lot of lurking to hopefully hit Pike and, and get some death from Belows, plus that will also help us level up Misfortune the more attacks that we have. Um, so those are our two things there. We'll have a couple of scout units to be able to help out Misfortune level up, and even a Citrus Courier that would allow us to rally and level up Misfortune. A couple of Rekindlers, bringing back both of our champions at the top end, some interaction, and then even Playful Trickster. So basically with Playful Trickster, what we can do is, uh, that works really well with the Snapjaw Swarm. So let's say we don't have the attack token. We play the Snapjaw Swarm, get to attack with it, and then we can pull it back with the Playful Trickster, and now we get to rally, and then we can even like then use an Island Navigator and Scout Attack <laughs> if we have that. Or if not, then you know, do a normal attack. So we could get two or three other attacks in a, in a round that we don't normally have the attack token and really help out Misfortune. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a try. That's what the deck's about. Pike, Misfortune, Shadow Isles. We got Pike's Fortune is what we're calling it. But it's really a, a deck that's all about the Snapjaw Swarm. And all right, we got Viego for our first matchup. We'll see how they can handle Snapjaw Swarm. I think we're just going to mulligan everything, honestly. Let's just send it all back. We want cheaper cards. We want our champions. Specifically Misfortune, the other champion. Yay, the Swarm. Got it. Watch your head. I think I'm going to take this trade. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, because I was worried if we miss the Lurk... Hmm, still dealt zero. And they pass? Wow. So they're telling me they have Merciless Hunter. Oh, we missed Lurk again. Oh man, that's the thing, is we may we may be missing Lurk quite a bit. Unfortunately, we may be maybe missing Lurk quite a bit. I was hoping to, you know, make that O2 back again. Love it when they run. 
There's the hunter. What? Why? Do they... I think they thought... No? Okay. I was gonna say, do they think they had the attack token the previous round? All right, have a good good day at work, Nasher. Scout elusive. Yeah. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak. If I attack with the island navigator, they trade with the escaped abomination. I think I say no, because I could threaten just blocking the 3 2 normally. Oh, that's unfortunate. Love you. Help me. <clears throat> it's definitely kind of relying on that card. No, one another misfortune. All right, so we missed Lurk again. Oh, I didn't attack for one the second time. Sorry, that could be at 16. Or fi 15, actually. <laughs> we haven't hit a Lurk yet. In fact, we started with this Pike in our opening hand. We haven't even seen another Lurk card. Besides the pike and the swarm, we started with our opening hand. I'm really considering going vengeance on this thing. Why does this thing have fearsome? I haven't figured that out yet. do not doubt. Earth is really cool, but I really wish they made, made Earth not as loud. I can attack four times next round with Misfortune. Like if they don't have, if they don't have um, any removal, I can rekindle their back Misfortune. Attack twice with twice with Scout and Normal. Attack once with the Snapjaw Swarm. Attack once with and then Citrus Courier Rally. Attack again. Wish they were at 15, not 17. But they may have disconnected, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the opponent went. Let's maybe try to sneak this attack in there. First. If they're not here. We still miss Lurk again. Man... So we have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. We have fifteen lurk cards. <laughs> and we've seen like ten cards and none of them have been like one of the fifteen lurk cards the entire game. Alright. Well GG's, we we're gonna single-handedly level up the misfortune that round, but Okay, so we got, I think this is, it goes 3 2 1 for the, the champions they have. So 3 Echo, 2 Sivir, 1 Zillion. Here with PNZ Sharima. Hopefully, we can do a much better job. Hopefully, we can do a much better job of lurk in this game. So, unfortunately, my, my opponent disconnected there at the end of that last game, but I did feel pretty good about winning it with that last round, how it was looking. Yes! Oh, we lurked. Oh, and we got a death from below. Death from below. Man, I, I wish Stalking Shadows cost two mana. Because, yeah. of course, you all know what I what I want to do is I want to be able to put... Like, this round, I want to play Misfortune and put Bloodbait on top and Stalking Shadows it. And, obviously, I just can't do all of that. That, that all requires way too much mana. They better not have Merciless Hunter or Thermogenic Beam either. <laughs> Alright. Well. 
guess we got a backup misfortune. Love to stalking shadows that you get two copies. Man, I love this board. Get it? I love this board. Talking about the Demacia board. Stop! I want my misfortune alone. All right, we'll just go this warm. All right, no lurk card. These are my streets. But another thing that we can do, we know it's not a lurk card, but I can stalking shadows and reset the top card of the deck, and then attack again, and then check if it's a lurk card. Or I could death from below this 2-3. It's just a generic 2-3. I should probably save death from below for something that to... He must now. Lurk? Oh, we missed Lurk again. That would have been so cool if we hit Lurk like the second time. After resetting, I'm kind of hoping they play Echo. Nice day. So I have that for Echo. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. You turn it like so. Only two cards left, and I have a Vengeance. Maybe I'll just play this Death from Below. I guess we do kind of need Pike in play. To get this level up going, right? To get more damage in. If we just hold it in hand all the time, it won't have it any damage on it. All right, no lurk, unfortunately. Wow, their hand was not very good. <laughs> multiple drop orders, multiple strong hands. It was not the best. All right, so they got one card left. But they did just, um, you know, predict a couple of times. So they they probably have something pretty good on top. Speaking of something pretty good on top. Whoa, they liked whatever they chose, they chose it super fast. Alright, so we're gonna have to vengeance first. Well, I guess I don't have to vengeance first. Actually, I don't have to at all. I could just block and glimpse beyond. Yeah, Pike, Pike's back. I thought it was going to be Pike, not Misfortune, but I wasn't exactly sure. Yes, Snapjaw Swarm. No, opponent! Oh, so we had, we had like our Hammer Snout that was going to give the Echo vulnerable so that my Pike could kill it with the Quick Attack. You know, it's just been two games so far, but after two games, Rekindler has been a big part of both, like, the ending of both games. Alright, we got a traditional Lurker's deck. 
But with that being said, I'm sorry, Rekindler is still sending you back. Can eat the rest. All right, hopefully we get death from below. Yes, Sharkling. Let's get that death from below. There it is. Ah, regular lurk though. We'll take a regular lurk. There's the death from below. We found it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and blood bait and make sure that we hit lurk. And then attack with both. Camby, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. You are incredible. Thank you very much. Four months now. Keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. Thanks for the support. Oh. Free attack, but they did not lurk. They're probably not playing as many lurkers as I am. Oh, they just concede? No. We had death from below and everything. <sighs> These people in normal, sometimes they will concede pretty fast. All right, Diego Ash. So we got Spooky Pike versus Spooky Ash. Not a bad hand. Have the attack token round two. Yeah, this is kind of everything that we want. Hey, Sparky. This is a good Snapdraw Swarm hand. So now our Scrabosaurus will be able to create another Snapdraw Swarm. Awesome. Glad we got that lurk. What we get? One I guess probably a one drop. Oh, two drop. Red fin hammer snout. That's a good name for a card. Red fin hammer snout. Alright, see if we can lurk. No, we don't lurk. So two options. I Bone Skewer killed the 3-2. Assuming they block with the 3-3. Three, three. Oh, they didn't block with the 3-3. Three, three. Well then. Okay, so the... The problem here, of course, is that we know we know our top card is not a lurk card. No, we won't be lurking. Oh, great Chronicler of Ruin. That was pretty nice, that was pretty nice. Okay, so we both have four cards in hand. They got two extra mana. If they have a champion, we are in lots of trouble. Because we don't have any champions. You know what? I'm going to block this thing. I don't know. I'm kind of worried about Miss Call. I don't really know why I am, but I am. Come on, Lurk. No, oh, we didn't hit it. All right. 
fight Miss Fortune. Let's get through. Well, I could have tried the swarm and tried to lurk again. Oh, we would have hit it. I want to have the misfortune in play first. Before we get free attacks. Alright, so here's the plan. Plan's not going so good. But here's the plan. We attack. Get two attacks here. And then next round we can do free attack plus rally. And then attack again. And we can, we can have like a whole lot of attacks. I guess I should have just attacked first and just seen because that could have been like a pike. I didn't have to spend that one mana because it because I get a second attack. Uh oh. All these things are dying to the Bladder Ravine, of course. So that's unfortunate I don't have the scout unit in play anymore. Please don't kill my misfortune. Please don't kill my misfortune. Please don't kill my misfortune. Awesome. I guess I can't play this if they don't block. Do they have to block here? Now they just take it, so it's going to be four, five, six, seven, and puts them down to three. I guess we'll give them the choice. Do you want to go to three, or do you want to block? All eyes on me. They shouldn't block, but I'm hoping they do. No yes, I'm hope I was hoping they'd be scared. They were scared. They blocked. They, now they did. Look at this, playful trickster. Dude, that is some synergy right there. <laughs> and then we get to attack with everything. Beautiful. Okay, well, surprisingly enough, we are 4-0 with our spooky... Snapdraw Swarm deck with Pike and Misfortune. So that means, as you know, whenever we're 4 0 in normal, we go take it on over to ranked. Ranked, they're not going to be people that will be conceding as early as some of these people in normal have been. So we'll take it on over to Diamond Ranked and play a game. See if we can get lucky and finish out the 5 0. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, just like Goomba said. I don't know how, but somehow 4 0. We had our first opponent kind of disconnect. I was confident we were going to be winning that one. But just kind of time considerations, we just kept it. And then we had a, we had another opponent concede super early that we didn't keep that we didn't count that one. So we're actually kind of 5-0. I guess I'm supposed to mulligan pike. Yeah, we're supposed to mulligan pike. Okay. I'm gonna send this back. No. Yeah, I'm gonna send that back. Yes, one drop. Okay, cool. We got the Stalking Shadows. Again, anyway. Alright, saving this uh, Snapjaw Swarm for after Misfortune. We'll just keep the two spell mana here for Bone Skewer. Be able to protect Misfortune with the Bone Skewer. 
I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Victory at any cost! All right, cool. They were scared to attack with the Crimson Disciple. I'm happy about that. But I'm not really happy about that Crimson Disciple about to do lots of damage to me. Oh, come on. Really need to hit that Lurk. City Breaker. That card's great. My opponent's so smart. We'll make it not quite as obvious that we are going to be leveling up our Misfortune next round. We already took the one damage. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me just pass. Maybe we want the spell man everything. Like this this one two isn't that important. Alright, so that's second misfortune attack. Let's get a good look at you. Love ya. I'm gonna miss my lurk also. No. Warm hearts and hot soup. This is our way. There's not like a really a good way to play the Snapjaw Swarm and the Playful Trickster. So ideally, I, I would attack here first, make that the third attack, then I'll play the Swarm for the fourth, so then I can Trickster and Rally afterwards. But if I play this for the fourth attack, they're not going to throw any blockers in front of the Snapjaw Swarm because it's attacking for zero, so I won't be able to actually play the Trickster. So that's my dilemma right now. This is our way. I've got meat bigger than you. So I think I kind of have to go just Citrus Courier, I guess. Lock this afterwards. Well, I guess I could have attacked him this working too, but it's gonna get blocked anyway. That's too bad. If only I had one more mana. Right, but we do have vengeance for both of the champions. Oh, yes. Dude, Rekindler has been coming through clutch. Rekindler has been coming through clutch. We each died, then found home. Man, they, if they can't... Okay. So if they can't kill Misfortune, they are so dead in this next round. Always forward. Still no lurk. I meant to play the Playful Trickster right there, and I didn't. I just clicked OK because I was excited, but I meant to play that. Oh man, I just messed up. I just messed up. I need to play the Playful Trickster right there. That was my whole point. Oh, I just messed this up. Let me play this, let me play this. I'm gonna play it. Oh, 
I can't believe I messed that up. I can't believe I just messed that up. I was just so excited I clicked okay. Okay, well at least we can still. All right, I guess just a bunch of Shrucklings. These things are just one twos. We can still attack for a good amount. Alright, we finally hit Lurk. First time in this game, <laughs> we hit Lurk. Okay, they only have two cards. We know one is a Swain. All right, that will do. Then we'll just play some blocker or play some more attackers. We can be able to play the scout. Okay, so we got there, but we took a, a strange route to get there. But th that's a that's a win in ranked. Level up your misfortune. That was we had some clutch draws in there. Every Kindler was super clutch. Um, I tried to screw it up, <laughs> but the deck was too good. Alright, so we had some surprising wins in there. Pike's Fortune. I think that we really did show how good Snapjaw Swarm can be with having Misfortune and everything. Just get getting all those free attacks. Lots of ways to get the free attacks. The Scribe of Sorrows looked very good of just getting us like the different card advantage, giving us a body, you know, creating a, a Snapjaw Swarm all the time, or just whatever else it created. Um, so that really helped out. We sometimes got to create a champion with it. But man, Rekindler at the top end, uh, it really pulled its weight, putting in Misfortunes and Pikes and stuff like that. Um, everything worked pretty well. Stalking Shadows with the extra card advantage, the, the Navigator, the Trickster. Um, yeah, it all worked out fairly well. I mean, you can't complain about a 5-0. To be fair, we did have a lot of people in normal that were kind of conceding pretty early or disconnecting and that kind of stuff in the first few games. They weren't like necessarily the best of games, but we did get a win in ranked. So there's nothing wrong with that. You know, not easy to get wins in diamond ranked and Pike's Fortune was able to do it. So there we go. That's Spooky Pike, Spooky Misfortune, Spooky Snapjaw Swarm, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, just a, a different unique deck, a different way to play Pike. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck and how you enjoyed watching it. Always love seeing those comments. And, uh, you know, thank you, thank you for leaving those. And, of course, as always, thank you for watching as well. I appreciate it, and I will see you for the next video. Take care.